Well, hey ho, everybody. Here we go. I got my peely base drying. I had a rosy fiber in this thumb and looks a little bumpy right now, but it's okay. It's okay. Everybody enjoys a little rosy fiber in their day. <laughs> At least I do. Come on, you guys. Okay, so we are doing some cute little tartar inspired nails. I'm sure he's going to be absolutely thrilled. He'll be inspired and probably want me to do his nails too, I'm sure. So these are ones I got from Danelle and they are pink glitter with little black cats and then some of them have those little um, fish skeletons on them. So stinking adorable. Uh, same here for these, I believe. Nope, these are nails mailed. And these ones are overlays with little kits on them. So I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use the pinky ones and I'm going to save the thumb ones for a different day. Um, my nail friend, Amanda Murphy, sent over a super cute um, black cat nail picture today nail inspo picture uh, that was a polish one but I think I could probably I know I wouldn't do it on as many fingers as the girl did because you guys it's a little bit taken it's gonna take some some of my worst scissor skills <laughs> to get it done but still I thought oh it's so cute it's so cute and different um, than from what I've seen of other stuff after this you guys I know I'm on a video roll oh it's lovely to not be working <laughs> but after this I'm gonna pull up uh, my binders and do a binder video because I have like a three inch stack of junk I need to get put away all right so let's do these and I know the nails mailed are like the plasticky type that I'm gonna have to either file or nip the ends usually I nip the ends hang on I got a stupid little piece of plastic static to me are you kidding me right now mister it won't give up you guys really oh so guess what you guys they should they think got the dishwasher in today Willow and I already got that rocking and rolling. Um, and there was a link, a link, a leak under the sink. And you're like, what? Since you moved in? And I'm like, no. Since he tried to do the dishwasher, he, he made a leak. <laughs> so he also got that fixed today. <laughs> you guys, this is my life. He's not a plumber. <laughs> he is not a plumber <laughs> okay so he got that fixed today so I scrubbed down the sinks and then Tartar has a little um, water fountain drinking fountain so I pulled that all apart and gave it a good scrub up for him and I mean literally he drinks wherever he feels like it the bunnies have bowls um, downstairs and upstairs and if he's down there and decides he's thirsty he drinks out of the bunny's bowl if he's up here he drinks out of his little water fountain and it's so very cute to watch him do it so you know and if you happen to be like by the sink with the water on brushing your teeth or you know doing something in the kitchen sink he'll drink out of those too but I do believe he prefers the running water of the fountain. That seems to be his his preference to get his whole little tongue under there and make a big splish splashy. Oh, these are adorable, you guys. I mean, and 
Tardy doesn't have any white on his face, but still, how cute. Super duper. So Willow made the, tomorrow we're doing, tomorrow's Easter, and we're doing chicken tacos, which will be delicious. delicious. Willow made the salsa tonight, which is, um, sweet corn and pinto beans well, I suppose you could use a different bean I we use pinto beans sweet corn pinto beans cilantro red onion jalapeno um, and then olive oil and kosher salt and juice of limes now that I'm looking at this, I actually think that these might be a little bit um, translucent or sheer. I gotta find something that's gonna fit that finger over there. That one's gonna be a little big. It'll fit that one though. And I do know, yeah. Oh wow, look, they're super, super. Okay, I see you, Tardy Cat. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. I'll adjust the next one. Because this would have been perfect if my nails were, like, their usual length. Which they're not. Okay. So we lost just a little touch of his face but I think the fact that his ears are still his ears and eyes are still there is pretty cute and pretty accurate okay so this one I'm wondering how much I need to I'm not the best at Not the best at trimmeling, trimmeling around, but we're pretending I am. Oh yeah. Good job, Stacy. Good job, Stacy. Happens once in a while. Hi, by the way, I am Stacy. Welcome to my sassy styles. I am not a Color Street stylist. I am just a Color Street addict. I have been happily using for, um, I think we're like three years in now, probably, right around that, pretty close to that, somewhere in there, yeah, and um, I do my nails. I hate to say I have a schedule because I don't. I kind of just do them whenever the mood strikes me. And I use a peel-off base coat so that I do not have to use any acetone or anything on my nails so it is not damaging. And so then I find that probably I do my nails even more because I can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. I think this maybe is going to fit. So if you find yourself coming back and you enjoy the rambling nonsense, please do subscribe because it helps me with the YouTube algorithm and having other nail addicts find us. There's a link down below. Um, we, and when I say we, I say that because it's not something I could do on my own. I have lots of lovely nail friends that I have known for, you know, a year or so now. Um, and then my bestie Marcy. We have a Facebook group, CC's Sassy Crew, and um, I definitely couldn't do it alone. I mean, I could barely keep up to my page just by myself, which is why 
made the sassy crew so that we can interact with each other and share our nail fees and you know and I use all brands obviously this isn't Color Street this is an off brand and I you guys you know how I love to adjust the color of a sheer but I don't know if I would adjust this it's just it's pretty it looks nice doesn't look like it's missing anything there we go it's super cute little fish skeletons okay now we need my ring and pointer are pretty close I think to the same size. Yeah, I think we could use the fish bones again. And then that way we can put cats on our thumbs. So anyway, my kitchen is in a little bit of working order now. Well, working order as in the dishwasher works and the sink works but there's like oh my gosh two six eight probably nine feet of my counter space is just missing <laughs> so that doesn't work great <laughs> but it's where we're at right now i do not know how long that is gonna last but hopefully not I mean, hopefully not terribly long, you guys. Um, I'll live, though, if it does, I guess, right? <clears throat> Stop with your first world problem, Stacy. Stop. Um, but we're doing our chicken tacos. We'll throw everything in the, the chicken in the crock pot and, you know... I'm trying to just not have to use the stove if I don't have to, and I can grill, and it's just, you know, you really miss your corner space when you don't have it, right? Oh, those are cute. I love that little guy. Okay, now we need, yep, that'll do us. Cat thumbs. And I think I'm going to do these a little bit flipped around because my other nail's longer. So let's do this. And you can cut these with your nails, you guys. I just don't have, I literally, my I have like one thumb and my two pinkies are the only ones that are long enough to be very good tools anymore. Well, not anymore because hopefully they'll get back to their selves at some point. For now, they're just right here. I feel like Willow and I got a lot of chores done today. She was my world's best helper, as always. See that little, let's see if I can doctor it. a so-so doctor. Hang on. I can doctor further, I think. There we go. That's better. I didn't want to overlap it or it made the one part, um, the, that bit of pink a little too dark. Like, more noticeable. And that I'm just rolling the tips around till later. I never notice 
these off brands to me, you guys. Um, other than Color Flash, I do feel like Color Flash sets up overnight. But the rest of these, I don't feel like they ever... I don't know if they feel like they ever really like set up. You know how Color Street sets up? I don't know that I feel like these set up in that same manner. If that makes sense. Gosh, I got a lot of these left. That is one thing that's nice about those off brands is oftentimes you're getting, you know, 18 to 22 strips. So you can usually do, even if you're doing full nails, you can do, um, three or four sets just depending on how many like how long your nails are if you can use and then if you cut them like if you did partials or slants or something you'd definitely be able to extend that the extra mile all right so there's those now let's see and I'm going to put heat on these because I do feel like they benefit from that you know, because they're a little bit plasticky. It's just how they are. I've got a tiny wrinkle there. Oh, they're really cute, though. Super cute. There we go. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start this uploading. And then, aw, they really are cute, you guys. I'm going to go do a live spin in the Sassy Crew for the winner from our last live nails. I think that's it. And then I'm gonna put nails away, you guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Have a good one.